Looking at the preview in the configuration window, we can see that each line of data contains information such as source, name, email, gender, etc., but our data is not separated into individual columns. This is where the text to column tool comes in. We'll navigate to the parse tab on the tools palette and connect the text to columns tool to our workflow. In the configuration window, we can see that Altrix automatically identifies the top row as the header field. Normally, we would need to choose the column to split, but since our data is currently one single column, that choice is not relevant. We'll now need to specify the delimiter, or the marker that's separating our data. If we look at the data set again, we can see that the data is separated by commas. We should therefore go back to the text to columns tool and specify the comma as the delimiter. We now need to specify the number of columns. Going back to the data set and looking at the header row, we can see that there are nine individual categories. We'll head back to the text to columns tool and enter nine in the number of columns box. There are further choices which give you more refined separation rules, but in this case, we're done, so we'll run the workflow. In the results window, we can see that our data has been separated into nine distinct columns, along with the original column. 